Radio Magic Shells are amazing. You've got to listen to these dolphins. Hetty was supposed to be doing our homework. Do we have to? Yes. Let's say you were stranded on a desert island. You're starving and you've got no food. Could you turn this boot into a bunch of grapes? No. But I don't think I'd ever get that hungry. Mutato calceus uva racimus. Mmm, juicy. That's disgusting. No, that's last week's homework. What is it this week? How to turn your socks into sticky toffee pudding? Levitation. You've got to start by lifting something light, then work up to heavier objects, like belladonna. Easy. Watch this. Uva, ascendo, suflo, ethereus. Hetty, I think you just told the group to inflate, not levitate. Whoa, look at that thing grow. Quick, Hetty, do the reverse spell. Don't panic, Mona. I've got it all under control. I'm sorry to have to inform you that a giant grape has exploded in the East Wing. Thanks to Henrietta Hubble, many of your rooms have been damaged and you will have to share with other girls whilst the building is repaired. Silence! Don't worry, girls. Think of it as an adventure. I'm going to be sharing with Miss Hardbroom and I can't tell you how excited I am. Yes, I'm sure it'll be an experience we'll never forget. Furthermore, your standards of witchcraft are clearly not up to scratch, so I've decided to set a spell test. On a more positive note, we now have a plentiful supply of grape, which I'm sure Cook will put to good use. What a dump. Belladonna, the rooms are all the same. This junk will have to go. That's better. What are you doing? You can't do that to my stuff. There's no way I'm sleeping on the floor. I suppose we can top and tail. <sighs> Fine, but apparently I kick out in my sleep like this. Ow! Well, apparently I tend to do this in my sleep. <laughs> Einstein! Ophelia! <laughs> Ow! She bit me! <sighs> Looks like our cats can't agree on the sleeping arrangements either. Oh, Cressy, isn't this amazing? I can't believe I have you as my new roommate. We're going to have the best time. I feel really bad taking your bed, though. I know, I insist. It's the least I can do after wrecking your room. Are you sure you're going to be OK? Oh, yeah, this cold stone floor's comfier than it looks. All right, then. Night. Want our portraits painted? What for? I'll take those. They'll hang in the corridors as an inspiration to future generations. And those? The only thing it will inspire this rabble to do is draw all over them. They won't be up five minutes before I've got a beard, an eye patch, and a parrot on my shoulder. Gee, Miss Swoop. Oh, super. Yes, I must. Give me a moment to uh, put these down. Oh, that's odd. The milk jug is missing. Morning. I'm writing a few house rules to help us get along. Rule number one. We must be polite to each other at all times. Oh, get lost, hello. Maybe we'll do the rules later. I'll show you what I'm making. It's a love potion. You want us to fall in love? You're crazy. Look, I'm sharing a bed with you, but that is as far as it goes. It's not for us. It's for the cats. I found some milk in the staff room. You stole the teacher's milk? Relax, they'll never know it's missing. I'll take that, thank you. See me later for detention. Oh, isn't it a beautiful day? Morning, Hattie. What are you doing? Oh, I, uh, 
was just cleaning my ears. Eee, I can't stand a roommate with disgusting habits. <sighs> well, I think the paintings are a splendid idea. Apparently they've hired a top artist. Oh, yes, who? Right, then. Who wants to go first? Oh, I see the governors have spared no expense. Oh, paint Mr. Bloom first. And make sure you capture his ragged, handsome features and his piercing blue eyes. Um, well, I suppose I could start with him. But I doubt that my skills are a match for Caspian's timeless beauty. Look at that nose. More majestic than any mountain. And that skin softer than purest silk. Back off a bit. I saw him first. No. I saw him first. You did not. I did. I hit him in there. Don't you did. Didn't. May I suggest you spend your time between now and the test learning these spells? I can assure you it'll be time wisely spent. Wake up, sleeping beauty. Ew. You dribbled on my arm. You really need to work on your personal habits. You can talk, at least you don't snore. I snore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with the class, Cressy. Now, please return to your work. I can't believe I still snore. You mean you knew and you didn't tell me? Thanks. I used to wake up the whole family until Mum cured me with this lullaby spell. I'm sorry about the dribble. I don't have a spell for that. Here, use this tonight if I start again. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of an important experiment. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me help. <laughs> you did that deliberately. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Two wrongs don't make a right. What about three wrongs? Why don't we just sit down and talk this thing out? Four wrongs? Right, that's it. Double detention this time, shall we? <laughs> Sleep, my baby, don't you cry. Listen to this lullaby. Bambino dormio arrestis acclaimo. Bambino. Oh, I can't read your writing. <laughs> Come on, lazy bones, time to wake up. Cressy? Cressy! Cressy, is that you? Come along, Hubble. Time to get up. Uh, yes, miss. You too, Winter Child. Winter Child? Yes, miss. I'll be right out, miss. Where's Winter Child? Uh, that's just my dog, Kitty. He ate something bad and his tummy keeps rumbling. Stand back. Please don't look in there, Miss Harper. There you are, Winter Child. Well, it wasn't my fault. Well, I suppose technically it was my fault, but I can explain. You've really done it this time, Hubble. Not even you can talk your way out of this one. <laughs> this pose really is quite uncomfortable, and I'm not sure it's an entirely accurate depiction of a librarian. Oh, nonsense. After a valiant struggle, cataloguing books, you, the handsome hero, bring order where there was once chaos. It captures the very essence of your beauty. His chin's all wrong. It's much squarer than that. Hello, Caspian. Bought you a donut. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Swoop. Most kind. Aren't you going to be late for your class? 
More donuts, Caspian? That would be nice. <laughs> You know, sharing a room with you, I figured out what your problem is, Hello. Just one? Wow, coming from you, that's a compliment. You think you're so much better than everyone else. She's not better than you, Belladonna. No one is. Do you have any self-respect? Blonde hair's really it. Red hair is so yesterday. Plus, that floral creation was featured in Witch Vogue. Plus, she'll beat you in the spell test. Yeah, I'll beat you on the spell test, I can do that. How about, if you beat me on the test, you get to have the room the way you want it. And if I win, I get it my way. Or, we could arm wrestle for it. Spell test fine. We'll stick with that. First the exploding grape, and now this. And Cressy, you really should know better. Hedge which magic is not to be trifled with. Show me this lullaby spell, let's see if we can reverse it, shall we? It was an accident. Well, it's lucky one of us knows our magic. Hand me the paper, I can make it whole again. Ah. Ah. I'll come back later. I'll have to write to your mother for the spell. In the meantime, Hetty will look after you. This is your last chance, don't let me down. Don't worry, Miss Cackle, I won't. It's the spell test tomorrow. If you fail, I'm sending you back a year. Wonderful, and hold that look, Miss C. Oh, I can almost feel the authority oozing from the paint. You all right, Mr. Bloom? Uh, a few too many donuts. Miss Swoop and Miss Widget have been most generous. I really need to return this. It's way overdue. Love potions. You're the one that stole the milk from the staff room. Sorry, it was a mix-up. You can say that again. Anything in here about antidotes? Hubble, winter child, you're late. I want 500 lines from both of you. But, Miss, Chrissy can't hold a pen. I'm not interested in feeble excuses. Get on with it. Hi, Chrissy. Have you still got that dried seaweed? Because I need some for this potion. Uh, What's got into her? Look, can you hold her for a minute? That's Winter Child. Wow, what an ugly baby. See, Chrissy? You could have got Belladonna for a roommate, which is a lot worse, trust me. Um, you better take her. You changed her, so you change her. Not in here. But I can't afford to miss lessons. Miss Cackle will send me back a year. You should have thought about that before you sent Winterchild back 12 years. Uh-oh. I've run out of black. Come on, Chrissy, eat up. There's a good girl. I'm sick of grape. Mashed grape, roast grape, boiled grape. And for pudding, cherry surprise. The surprise is, it's not cherry, it's grape. Mona, can you babysit Cressy tonight? So I really need to study for this spell test tomorrow. She's no trouble, honest. <laughs> Sorry, Hetty, I've got to study too. If I beat Belladonna, I get to set the room rules. It's petty, I know, but I'm sorry, she's driving me crazy. This is a knife. Can you say knife? Uh, I'll do it for you. It'll be fun. You're all right, Dillis. I'll manage. Looking for this? The spell test. Hand it over, hello. Why? So you can cheat? No way. We're going to do this fair and square. Candela Illuminum. Hello? Somebody there? The secret of levitation is to feel the spell flowing through your fingertips. All right, here goes nothing. Malum Ascendo. Like I said, 
Nothing. I beat you, hello. The test is mine. Nice try, bindweed. We've overslept. Come on! I want to smell the sweat coming off the painting. I thought you ladies might like a cup of tea. Oh, oh. you are a thoughtful and a beautiful man. Ugh. You really do make awful tea. And no donuts. Men, talk about useless. This is a marked examination on spells. There will be no talking, no comparing answers, and no referring to any notes. All papers must be completed in pencil and have your names clearly written at the top. The time is three minutes past nine. You have one hour to complete the test. You may turn your papers over and begin. So nice of you to join us. I'm sorry, Miss Cackle, but I can't do the test. I've got to look after Cressy. My friend needs my help, and that's more important than any test. You do realize I'll have no choice but to put you back a year. Hetty? Goodbye, you lot, and good luck. All right, Cressy. Let's change that nappy. Cressy? Cressy! There she is. Chrissy, stop! You're gonna fall! We've got to do something. I can do it. I can do levitation. But you can't! Bambino, Ascendo. Aetherius, Arrestus. Tula, Flagro, Reversus, Braternus. I think you know what to do now, Hetty. Sleep, my baby, don't you cry. Listen to this lullaby. Bambino dormio, Arrestus acclaimo. Bambino disturto, confesta menemo. <laughs> <laughs> You can stop changing me now. <laughs> well, Hetty, I don't think I'll be putting you back here. Your spell casting has really improved. In fact, I've decided to cancel the spell test. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Miss Hattie. Thank you. And I'm pleased to announce the East Wing is now reopened. You can all go back to your own rooms. Yes. <laughs> Winterchild, what on earth are you doing out here in your pajamas? The 
dressed immediately and report to me for cauldron cleaning. Saved by the bell, Hallow, you know I would have beaten you on that test. Of course you would, Belladonna. You're so much smarter than me. 